The speech referral process has a huge impact on the work we do. It influences how many children we see, how big our caseloads are, and how enjoyable our interactions are with teachers and other campus professionals. We have had a huge surge in the number of people downloading our free referral documents and the number of questions people email. I reached out to speech pathologists throughout the United States and even the Department of Defense working abroad who said they wanted to improve how they handled referrals. But when I asked about what paperwork they were using or even their process, this is what their responses sounded like. Problem comes along, you must spit. The truth is, no one actually wants to talk about the speech referral process itself. Most of us feel completely disempowered from making the monumental changes needed to improve it. Instead, people shared that there are three other areas that they cared about the most. Luckily, if we focus on these three areas, great change can happen. The one thing that is the most frustrating part of the referral process is that we are not able to support our teachers well. They ask for help, and sometimes we know that a student will benefit from services. Yet, we can't work with the student directly or move her through the process fast enough. This is despite the fact that research shows that teachers feel low confidence in identifying children that have communication difficulties and at the same time have a high desire to learn how to do it well. Our free online resource process forms are designed to correct this. Secondly, SLP shared that tracking students as they move through the referral process has become a nightmare. Processes typically describe one student as he passes through the system, but what about two or five or ten? We use a simple spreadsheet that dovetails nicely with the speech referral process forms to keep track of students well. Lastly, we have difficulty moving kids onto our caseload because our caseload is already pretty full, yet we can't turn them away either. Know that if we apply the same process that improves our referrals in the school to our caseload, we can reduce our numbers. Here's what it looks like. Identify the students that have the greatest chance of being dismissed. Gather informal data that you will need for progress notes anyways. We have students tell a story using a wordless picture book. Then, analyze it using the assessment of narrative fiction in our free resource library. And then request formal testing if they are looking like they are within normal limits. If you want more information on how to maintain great teacher interactions and improve data, check out this online course, An Easier Speech Referral Process. There is even an added bonus section which will help you apply the same process to your caseload to increase dismissals.